Master Yunlock. The Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. I've been watching you, Sith. In coming here, you have adulterated the journey of enlightenment and made a mockery of the Jedi way. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. I'll see to it she never breathes another word. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. Your death will cry out to her. You've chosen to fight. You will do so without the aid of your Twi'lek. Give no quarter, you Lee. We fight to defend Norman Kar's Padawan. Stop. Hold your weapon, Sith. I beg you. You Lee, stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Out with it, scum. Her name is Jaysa Wilson, and Nomen Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yuli's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaysa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You've already failed, old man. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jace will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. <laughs> There is no death, only the Force. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Were you hoping I would lose, Twi'lek? Are you kidding? And be stuck on this overheated rock? I'd much rather be with you, believe me. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. Her doubt was an insult. She just didn't know any better. She will now, though. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? The mission is complete. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. You have learned much from this. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'll remember you fondly as well. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. Ugh. I hope we never come back to this sandy inferno. It's bad for my complexion. If we never return here, I won't miss it. Glad we're on the same page. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan, Jason Wilson, no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. Make sure the engraver for her tombstone has the name spelled right. No, no. 
There will be no evidence of her existence. She will be buried in an unmarked grave. Your handling of Master Yanlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Noman Carr and Jaso Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I believe that moment is rushing toward us. Only Alderaan remains. Jaso Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive. Apprentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jaso Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. It is a certainty. I hope your results will confirm your confidence. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jason Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. Why don't I just kill him? No doubt someday the man's usefulness will be exhausted, but today is not that day. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. You lack patience, Duke Kendo. There are standard procedures that must be adhered to. Your disregard for our family rules is appalling. You are an abomination. Goodbye, cousin. Fools. They won't be feeling much of anything for long. Duke Kendo. Darth Barris sent me. What? You're not on my schedule. I don't appreciate being interrupted. Barris isn't even on my radar, Sith. I have a war to wage and personal ambitions to achieve here. I'm here to adjust your radar. A threat? You see these Sith I have attending me? Your corpse will be my message to your master. Femres, make this intruder a distant memory, will you? I'm sorry, Duke Kendo. We are assigned to protect you and support your interests in the struggle for Alderaan. But we serve the Emperor first, and we will not cross Darth Barras or his apprentice. It's good to know some people have respect. We consider you an ally, friend. Ah, okay. That was unexpected. It seems I may have been hasty regarding your master's needs. How can I make amends? You can start by bowing to me, too. Of course. Consider it a small demonstration of my repentance. I pledge the same level of focus that had me so absorbed in my own work. I pledge myself to your directives, and as I aid you, perhaps you'll be moved to help me in mine. Unless your directives involve your suicide, I won't be participating. Point taken. I hope time will improve our relations. As I recall, Darth Barris wanted information on a young Alderanian girl who was taken off planet to train with Jedi Master Noman Carr. I was to locate her family so that you could, well, send the girl a message. That is my understanding. The truth is, information about this girl is difficult to come by. I managed only one lead. Noman Carr's Padawan fits the description of the former handmaiden of a noblewoman in House Alder named Lady Renata. I've questioned her already, but Renata is protected by House Alder's greatest champion. The man has never met his match in melee. There's nothing I can't handle. If I may... 
Once you've eliminated her protector and gotten what you need, I would personally be very indebted if you'd arrange to have Lady Renata brought to us for questioning. Don't tell me what to do. I apologize if that sounded like a declaration. It was simply a request. While House Alder is a small player on Alderaan, it is affiliated with House Organa. Therefore, Lady Renata's estate is in hostile territory and very well defended. Be cautious. Be ready for my return. I do hope to see you soon. Until then... My lady, we have intruder. Lady Renata, I seek the family of your former handmaiden, Jaisa Wilson. What's this nonsense you're spouting? I don't know what you're talking about. Lady, let me kill this Sith like the last one Duke Kendo sent. Rindred, you don't need my permission to kill an enemy that comes barging through my door. Make it fast. Let me save you the trouble. This Sith faster than last one. <laughs> Lady, I... sorry. This can't be. Um, I... I'm sorry I ordered him to kill you, Sith. I hope you don't hold it against me. You see, I've been fending off Duke Kendo's advances for some time, and I just assumed you were here for him. If you're not working for the Duke, I... I'll gladly cooperate. You... you mentioned a... a girl, yes? Jace or someone? Glad to see I have your undivided attention. You have a very persuasive manner. I was aware of the young handmaiden who left Alderaan with the Jedi Master. And I did hear the name Jace of Wilsum, but you're mistaken. I didn't know her. The girl never served me. Do you know anything about her? Duke Kendo can include that in his interrogations. The Duke congratulates you on your impressive venture into House Alde. I'm here to take the fair lady to him. No! Don't let him take me to that... that pig! I do know who the girl worked for. I'll tell you all I can, if only you'll keep me from Duke Kendo. You'd say anything to save your neck. I promise you. Judge once you've heard. Before she left with the Jedi, Jaisa Wilson was the handmaiden of Giselle Organa of House Organa. They were inseparable. Before the war, Giselle was an aristocrat, like myself. Now she leads the Organan troops against House Olgo. Where exactly is this Giselle Organa? Uh, her headquarters are somewhere on the front line. The Duke will know where to find Giselle Organa, and how to reach her. If you let me deliver Lady Renata to him, I'm sure Kendo will happily shed light on the situation for you. I'm afraid I'm forced to hand you over to Kendo. I thought by telling you what I know, you'd show mercy. Your destiny lies with the Duke, woman. Be nice to him, and maybe he'll treat you well. I meant what I said. I'm sure Kendo can help you find and confront Giselle. You should consult with him on it. Be sure he's prepared when I get there. Of course, friend. I will see you at House Thule. Come, Renata. Time to face your fate. And a terrible fate it will be. Return. I'm beside myself with appreciation for delivering Lady Renata for me. She will prove to be most... useful. Tell it to someone who gives a damn. Just expressing my boundless appreciation. So, Fimrest tells me the lead was fruitful. Although Lady Renata was not the gold's mistress, she knew who was. Giselle Organa. I should say, General Giselle Organa. Now you have to track her down, which poses a bit of a problem. Some elaboration is required. Giselle Organa leads the Organa War against House Ulgo. Her headquarters is protected by an impenetrable force field. No firepower can breach it. The force field allows Giselle and her advisors to be stationed very close to the front and maintain a more hands-on command. 
I grow impatient for an answer, Kendo. These things can't be rushed. Unless... Yes. Wait. I think I have it. A force field needs power to maintain itself, yes? So, if we manage to cut the power... And I bet I know exactly where Giselle is getting her juice. If I'm right, you could just walk through the front door. Let's cut the chase. Almost all the power on Alderaan is supplied by the planetary generator. Giselle must be piggybacking the system to power her force field. Several of my fellows do this to maintain their special security needs. A precise charge at the generator will force fail-safes to fire. The planet won't miss a beat, but ancillary systems like Giselle's force field will have to be manually reset, which could take some time. Just point me in the right direction. Fimres, fetch a seven-stroke seven detonator from my arms cabinet there, and give it to our friend. As you wish. The Alderaan power generator is located above the Strait Valley, and it boasts the planet's most advanced security systems. You'll have to fight your way in, set the charge, then fight your way out before the boom. It won't be easy. Are you trying to make me angry? Forgive me. I'm just seeking to prepare you the best I'm able. Once you've detonated the generator... You'll still have to wade through Giselle's surrounding army and invade her headquarters before her force field is reset. I'll be eagerly tracking your progress. Good luck.